This exercise is for us to provide indirect surface fire support in support of weapons and tactics instructor course to certify the next generations of weapons and tactics instructors to the operating forces. I'm Captain Blake Johnston, the battery commander for Lima Battery, 2nd Battalion, 10th Marine Regiment. Now, the responsibilities of Marines in this position are quite ranged. They cover a variety of tasks out here. We have the 0811 Cannoneers on the gun line driving the howitzer. Their mission is to employ the howitzer effectively and send the rounds down range. We have the Fire Direction Center Marines who uh, compute all the data accounting for the five requirements for accurate predicted fire, ensuring that steel lands on steel every time we shoot out here providing uh, accurate predicted fires. Number one, number two, in a uh, mission. Uh, the equipment and weapon system utilized in this exercise range from personal weapons, 240 machine guns, 155 millimeter M777 howitzers. Uh, the M777 howitzer fires 155 millimeter rounds. Projectile types include high explosive rounds, white phosphorus rounds, illumination rounds, and smoke rounds. Uh, the Marines positioned on OP feats are a part of fire support teams for the company and battalion level. Their job is to integrate all fire support assets from 60s and 81 millimeter mortars, 777 howitzers, F-18, AV-8Bs, Hueys and Cobras to maximize the combined arm effects in the field. What I take away from this exercise is that we can really hone our trade craft to maximize uh, our ability to integrate as Marines, achieve a true combined arms effect and support the maneuver forces, to really project force and sustain it in any situation. So we can uh, become professionals in employing combined arms to support the maneuver forces. It brings the entire MAGTAF together. Uh, the Marines out here have done a phenomenal job. Everyone has really come together across the MAGTAF to maximize the training opportunities. Every day out here, these guys lived under a very realistic, uh, austere environment, similar to what we face in Afghanistan and Iraq and the future of potential conflicts in the Middle East. So these guys have really put a maximum effort out here, and they are definitely training like they fight. So all the credit to the effectiveness of this exercise goes to the Marines. Stand by. Let's go. Bye.